We're in Chateau de Praia and we're welcoming you to the Tula I had such a great time at Kefraya, but now I was looking forward to visiting Lebanon's top winery, Chateau Muzar. Chateau Muzar was founded by Gaston Hochar in 1930. By the late 40s, the winery was blowing the minds of the French wine elite. The grapes are grown in the beautiful West Beka Valley in the shadow of the Mount Lebanon mountain range. We're here in Lebanon's beautiful Beka Valley. We're here at the vineyards of Chateau Muzar, one of Lebanon's most fantastic wines. Behind me lie the exquisite vineyards that produce some of the best grapes and best wine in all of Lebanon. Let's check it out. Now, Chateau Muzar has vineyards in the Beka Valley. The winery is located north of Beirut in a 17th century castle in Gazir. This distance between the winery and the vineyards has led to many difficulties in the wine production in the past few decades. Lebanon experienced a horrible civil war in the years from 1975 to 1991. Getting the grapes from the Beka Valley to Beirut became an almost impossible task involving payoffs to militia groups and risking life and limb. The war saw fighting in the streets of Beirut, snipers, a downtown destroyed, foreign occupation, and aerial bombardment. The actions of Serge Hoshar have become legendary over the years. Only 1976 and 1984 were years where there were no wines produced at Chateau Mazar. During 1983, as fighting raged in Beirut, Serge Hoshar snuck into the country by boat to produce his vintage of wine. The style of Chateau Muzar's wines had already been famous worldwide, but this incredible attitude and enthusiasm for wine had made the wine more popular than ever. The wines of Chateau Muzar had been famous worldwide. It's a fabulous wine, a red that's a combination of Cabernet Sauvignon, Senzal and Carignan. This wine had been famous for years, something that was a throwback to the old Bordeaux. Serge Hocher has passed on his winemaking skills and expertise to his son Gaston. Gaston Hochar is now producing remarkable wines in the tradition of his father and grandfather, and like his father, he successfully dealt with the problematic wartime harvest of 2006. I was lucky enough to experience both the vineyards and the beautiful castle in Gazir. The castle was very impressive and I was more impressed learning more about Lebanon's wines with Gaston Hoshar. I had a fantastic time. I tasted great wines including a fabulous 1991 Chateau Muzar. This is truly one of the great red wines in the world. I am also a huge fan of the Chateau Muzar white wine. This is a blend of Lebanon's indigenous Obede and Merois grapes. It's just a great wine, very complex and pleasing. And here's a word from one of Lebanon's greatest winemakers and someone that controls one of the largest collection of bottled wine that I've ever seen. We have in the last 75 years been producing wine as a family production at Chateau Mizar. Today we are exporting 80% of this production worldwide. We have been producing the wines in the last 50 years in a natural way without any additives. We are very happy to receive anyone who comes to Lebanon for a tour in our winery in Gazir where we can explain the way in which we produce our wines. Thank you. Wow, what a fantastic time I had at Chateau Muzar and the other wineries in Lebanon. A lot of people have asked me if Lebanon is a safe place to visit. Lebanon is totally safe. Beirut and the Beka Valley are very friendly. I will say there is a problem with unexploded ordnance south of the Latani River. This includes areas near historical Tyre. 
Enough of that. I'm hungry. It's time to explore some of Lebanon's great food. You may want to grab a beer in Lebanon, and Almaza makes a great German-style pilsner. Almaza also produces a Dunkel-style German beer. It's about 6% alcohol, which is a lot stronger than the traditional Almaza, but it's very good. Lebanon has a tremendous culinary reputation, and there is no doubt that food will be one of the main highlights of your trip to Lebanon. Lebanese cuisine is among the best in the Middle East, and for that matter, the world. Traditional food like shawarma, falafel, spinach turnovers, and Lebanese pizza are everywhere, inexpensive, and absolutely delicious. The farmers of Lebanon produce great produce, and it's abundant. Get out there and try to enjoy some of the best food that Lebanon has to offer. Beirut also has a tremendous amount to offer in terms of international cuisine, including Italian food, Asian fusion and Chinese. I stuck mainly to Lebanese cuisine. Among my favorites was kebabji. It's a modern, casual Lebanese restaurant offering some of the best Lebanese food. It was here that I got to sample some of Lebanon's great food offerings. Lebanon offers great grilled meats and wonderful vegetarian fare as well. I found the food in Lebanon to be both incredibly flavorful and quite healthy. Great delicious meals. Lebanon has a great deal to offer the traveler. The food and wine of Lebanon were incredible treats, but we learned so much more. It's a beautiful place to visit. And I hope to explore it again soon. Hey y'all, we've had a great time in Lebanon, checking out the fantastic wines from the Bekaa Valley, wonderful food, the amazing hospitality of the Lebanese people, and beautiful Beirut. This is Alan Moeller, and I will see you next time on The Wine Trip.